guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Do some fan mail unboxing today. Let's see what we got and who sent it. So I got a I got a message the other day. Uh with a, couple, with a picture, a couple items asking me if they sent this to me, would I do a review on them? I said, heck yeah. <laughs> it was like, okay, cool, get them out to you. This was just a couple days ago. This arrived yesterday, today, Sunday. <laughs> so, anyway, Miss Lottie Ball, <laughs> Miss Lottie Da, and Captain Eggbeard, thank you very much. Also, thank you for the card. Uh, I think I'd mentioned that before, but thank you again. Um, thank you very much. This came quick, and uh, wasn't expecting it this week. I thought, well, Monday maybe, you know. So we're gonna open this up. Just skip over to Miss Lottie Dawes' channel and check her channel out. She's uploading again, so that's cool. Awesome. We did a kind of a hangout thing last night on her channel. So go check it out. A couple hour live stream. Uh, very fun. I had a great time, man. Uh, it was uh, me, Monkey, uh, Captain Eggbeard, Miss Lottie Daw, uh, and Nothing Edited, and BXX32. We had a great time. We just sat on there, chit chatted for a couple hours. It was pretty cool. Both ghost stories. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Let's check this out. I'll go ahead and spin you down here. Sitting outside as you can tell. On the, uh, I'm underneath the umbrella. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Get you back out here a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. Go ahead and open this up. You know what that means? We got a product review coming up. This is just the unboxing. Okay. okay. Now I believe I've had one of these before. I think uh, I don't think it's this particular one, but um, I think I had I had one something similar, and I really liked it. So there, this is. It's called the Chef Basket. Twelve in one kitchen tool. I go from the pot to the plate. Folds flat. I did have one similar to this. I remember I really liked it. Uh, folds flat for easy storage. So let's check this out. Instructions there. I don't think this thing's ever been used, but it's kind of like chain mail, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, this thing is awesome, and I'll be using this a lot. Trust me. So let's get this back in here. Another piece of paper in there. Right, let's put this back in the back in the deal here. Paperwork back in. So cool, this is going to be fun to try because I like to eat and make videos, so this will be a fun video. We'll make some pasta or something. Um, but yeah, you, you cook it right in the basket. Like if you're cooking pasta or whatnot, you cook it right, right in the basket and then just pull it out and dump it on the plate. Cool. Yeah, I had one similar to that. That is an as seen on TV product. So, let's get this out here. So, 
this is <laughs> this is going to be cool. Easy egg wedge. Let me get my glasses on and read this one. Okay. Make egg muffins in in a minute. Cooks a perfectly round egg. Eggs fit English muffins, biscuits, bagels, and more. Non-stick and easy to clean. Ooh. Uh, so it's a microwave egg cooker. There's the front of the box here. There's the side. Just telling you how it works. I don't think I've ever had one of these. In fact, I know I haven't. This is an as seen on TV product. So, okay. Wow, we get two. Awesome sauce. We get two of them. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. So, there's the bowls. And there's the lids. And, of course, we've got our little guide here. Oh, yeah, this has never been used either. So, we can make a pizza egg witch, uh, bacon avocado cheddar egg witch. I don't, I don't care for avocados, but, um, ooh, sausage and waffle egg witch. So, there. My screen's upside down, so. All right, so there we go. Let's get this back in the box. Come on. Uh oh. How come when you take something out it never goes back the way? Alright, see? As seen on TV. Alright, I think I'll do these. I might do them one at a time. If not, of course, I, I will do them together. But, uh,. Makes a four inch egg. So this should be interesting. Um, yeah. We'll see if our stuff turns out like that, huh? Alright. So there's my little things that they have sent me. And I do appreciate it, guys. So there is a fan mail unboxing for you. Again, Will and Kim, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, they're in Indiana and I am in Florida. So uh, that was very nice of them to send them down to me. And I will be doing a view on each of them. Like I said, I don't know if I'll do them together or separately, but um, we'll have to see. Maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make like a breakfast with it. I was going to do this last night, but uh, uh opened these up last night, and I could have used them to make breakfast this morning, but it's kind of late already, but, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for those videos, they'll be coming up really soon, so, yeah, doesn't matter what time you eat eggs, right, so, I may, uh, I may check them out today. Yeah, this is this. I believe I did have one similar to this. I think mine was, um, I think mine was copper. Does that sound right? Anyway, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't this exact one, but it's been a long time ago. This is when I lived in Ohio. I had one of these things, and I loved it. I used it a lot, so. The uses are endless. Okay, let's read the uses real quick for this thing. I'll hold it like this. Okay. Use it on the stove top for cooking, boiling, deep frying, steaming, poaching, blanching, parboiling. Use it as a colander for rinsing, washing, draining, straining, and storing. Awesome. Awesome. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, I can't, <laughs> can't wait to check these out, man. So, thanks again, guys. I really, really appreciate it.
thanks for uh, inviting us um, to your live stream last night. That was awesome. We had a great time. And uh, you guys, don't forget to check check that out. Uh, it's um, uh, Miss Lottie Daw. So, and you can also get to her from my channel. Um, so, with that being said, guys, I want to say I hope you enjoy your day, or depending on what time you see this, hope you enjoyed your day. Uh, but I'm gonna kind of kick it around here for a little bit. Maybe at least, at least try this one out. You know. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, so I got a little story to tell you. All right, I, I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let you go that that easy. All right. So you know, we had talked about. I mentioned in a video or two previously, just you know, last week or whatnot, that we had to uh, we had to go get oh. Yeah, we. I was vlogging anyway. We had to go get a, uh, a, a tire valve, an air valve, um, um, put in in the in the truck, you know, because I I can't break them down, the tires down, like I used to. So, <laughs> so it was leaking, you know, where you put the air in. It's a valve stem, is what it's called. It was leaking around there, and it was a slow leak, but overnight it would go almost flat. I'd have to air it up. Let's go down here, and, and uh, of course, you know, monkey hat, that shit bothers her. It doesn't bother me that much, but she, well, how much is it going to cost? I don't know, a few bucks, you know. So we get down there, and, and you know, we buy our tires off this guy. He's a really cool guy. They get it fixed, and uh, he puts it in water bath, and we check it, no. No leaks, no nothing like that. Cool, awesome. He throws it back on, torques the wheel, and so what? Do, what do we owe you? So nothing. You're good to go. Really? Yeah, really. Go ahead. He goes. You're good to go. Go on. So he didn't charge us a dime for it, even though he had to pull the wheel off, break it down, put that in there, and plus, you know, things are five bucks. Nothing. Go ahead. You're good to go. So they didn't charge us. And we're like, I'm like, now see, you know. Little things like it don't let it bother you. Karma's gonna bite you in the ass. So I seen it. You know, I was standing right there. He put it in the, in the water bath and the soapy water bath, and then there was no leaks in that tire. So we did our thing that day. Next day, she goes out getting the truck. Tire's fine. It's fine all day that day. Um, <clears throat> but here's the thing. I think it was one because we went to the uh, to the dump that day. We had to take the trash off, and uh, the day we got that fixed, and uh, so, but it, was, but it was fine the next day, and and but the day after that, it's, it was low again. So well, shit. I figure we must have ran over something at the dump. So anyway, it was just a slow leak and. So I just come out every morning, put air in it, and it, it was fine all day long. But overnight, you know, the temperature changes and stuff, and uh, you know, the tires start going low again. Well, so I know it ain't the valve, you know, or the the valve stem. So I know it's not leaking air. And uh, so yesterday we did go down and sell sell a few items yesterday, and. Uh, so so yesterday morning, I'm like, man, I'm gonna see where this leak is. So I started putting air in, or you know, I put it, it takes 44 pounds. So put 44 in it and uh, start running my hand around there. And sure enough, right there, I felt felt a little air, and I got to look, and there was a little puncture, just a tiny puncture one. So I'm like, well, shit. Like I said, this kind of thing doesn't bother me that much. So I was like, wait a minute. So I opened up the toolbox in the back of the truck. I got a brand new, brand new kit, tire, tire plug kit. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So, I plugged the tire, you know, clipped the ends, and fell her back up 44 pounds. I said, there you go. You don't need to worry about it. I said, must have ran over something, because, you know, I said it wasn't leaking, because it, it wasn't far from the, 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 the valve stem. So, I said, I know it wasn't leaking when he fixed it, so. I said, we've ran over something maybe at the dump. And she's like, well, you know, that's my luck. I got a black halo following me everywhere. I said, you know what? I said, karma's going to bite you in the ass for, you, you know, I, I said, 
I said, how much did it cost to put the valve stem in? Nothing. I said, how much did it cost to have this tire plugged this morning? Nothing. You did it. Exactly. I said, now karma's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Whatever. Don't get upset over the small stuff. Now the story <laughs> doesn't end there. So we go down. We set up, and she comes back up the house a couple of times, you know, because we're just at the end of the road. She come up and lay down. She wasn't feeling good, so she felt better. And she went back down, and then uh, she came up and, like, checked on Bruno and stuff, you know, because uh, I had forgot my hat, so she got my hat, brought it down to me. So we get, we get back home. We load up, and we get back home and everything. We unload the truck, and... Uh, she had to get a couple things at, at Walmart, so I grabbed my mask and everything, and uh, we're getting ready to go get in the truck, and and because uh, we're still wearing our mask down here, a lot of people's not, but some some people are, but um, we still wear ours. So she had to get you know some uh, like a, a sheet and blanket and pillows and pillowcase for her mom, you know. So. She won a purple so all right, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll go to Walmart with you. And uh, <laughs> we got the truck, and she walks around. She goes open door. She goes fuck. I said what? She said this door handle just broke. <laughs> no, again. She said yeah, it just broke. I walked around. It looked fine. I said look, April Fool's is over. She said no, honey, I'm serious. The door handle just broke. So I went over, floom, 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 sure enough, because they're plastic. The door handle broke. Because so she, she was kind of smiling, you know, because I think she knew what was coming next. She, so that's why I thought she was joking. I said, so, <laughs> I'll go let you in. So I go around to my side, open up the door. I'm getting ready to get in reach across. And I said, uh, yeah. Yep. Black cloud, huh? Or black halo, right? So I get in, reach over, open up the door for her. <laughs> she gets in. I said, now let me tell you something about karma. You uh you kinda complain <laughs> when the valve stem was leaking and it was free. It didn't cost us a dime. So you was all upset this morning because I had to plug the tire. It didn't cost us a dime, so karma said, you know what? You want to bitch and moan about free stuff? I'll give you something that's going to fucking cost you. Here you go. Karma sucks. Now, mind you, this this door's not you know just used a couple times a day just to go to work for eight hours and come home. This door she uses it all day long. It's open and closed 30, 40 times a day. Sometimes more, sometimes a little less. But and uh, because I you know I did a video. I won't do a video on that. But so. That's going to cost me, well, I, I've already got it ordered. It's already on the way, believe it or not. Uh, so it'll be here by Friday, hopefully. <laughs> so, hey, karma, you know, I mean, why are you going to worry about something that was free and only took a minute or two? I mean, you know, she was loading the truck while I was patching the tire. So we killed two birds with one stone while I was plugging that tire. And the day we, we went and had the, had the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> valve stem replaced you know uh, we didn't really have anything planned other than take the garbage off you know which we got done so I mean it wasn't like it you know like it left us along the road or anything it was just painy ass half aired up every day I guess to her but to me it, it does, that, that kind of thing doesn't bother me you know I'll do it but so remember guys karma We'll come back and bite you in the ass. Because, you know, I, I just laughed. And then when she closed the door, I heard, clink, clink, clink. I heard the clip. The clips break is what happened. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it might just be the clip. I don't know. I just went in and ordered one. They're only 10 bucks, free shipping. So. <laughs> but, um, and I needed the stabilizer bar bushings. I will do a video on that. It's real simple, but got a little clunk under the front end so um but uh you know i'm just laughing and, and i said now see you worry about little things that didn't cost any money and karma was like oh really well since you want to spend a little money here you go so remember guys karma <laughs>
And I told her, I said, you know, I'm going to mention this in a video. I know, I know. <laughs> but uh, it's just the little things. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass for her to have to, uh, you know, reach across the seat and open her door. Um, but yeah, when we got together, when we first started dating and stuff, you know, we dated for a few weeks before, you know, I... I even came out to her house, you know, I had no idea where she lived, she told me, but I'd never been here, so we dated, and, you know, she just kept reaching across, and then it was a little while, it was probably, we were together probably six, seven months, maybe even longer, and, you know, to where the door wouldn't open from the outside on her side, so it was always reaching over, and I, so I went ahead, and um, then mine broke. <laughs> so we was kind of screwed so I kind of had to do that because at the same time the uh, ignition key just the key worn uh, I did a uh, I filmed a video on that and uploaded it <laughs> the ignition cylinder um, the key wore so bad it just didn't want to turn the ignition no more so we started using the spare key and then it got worn to where so I, I replaced all that stuff at the same time the same day so if you pulled the key out, it was a pain in the ass to get it to turn again. But if you left it in, it, it, you could use it every time. So now we're sitting here. We can't lock the doors because we wouldn't be able to get in. And we had to, uh, you know, leave one window down a little bit so we could get in the damn truck. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, this ain't good. <laughs> so I went ahead and put both door handles in and, uh, and the uh, cylinder, lock cylinder in, or ignition cylinder barrel in it. And, uh... But, uh, like I said, this, um, yeah, so, I mean, and it's, <laughs> remember, karma sucks. I know I'm rambling here, but I just can't get over that, you know, people get upset, and it's like, I'm like, hun, you know, it's like, first thing in the morning yesterday, she said, I got this, you know, black halo, and I'm like, see, that's why you got the halo, you know, because, <laughs> you know, I'm like, gee, calm the fuck down, how much did it cost? nothing see so don't worry about it it costs no time you know i mean five minutes i bet the tire plug and it's good to go i looked at it this morning tires fine check the pressure 44 pounds we're good to go so it's just i said karma's karma's you know karma's gonna gonna get you when you when you start doing that shit yeah yeah whatever i got her so remember guys you know the little things don't don't sweat it um is it irritating? Yeah, kind of. You know, now, you know, this week she's going to have to reach over and open the door. And, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But before she did it, you know, before we even met, she's always been like this for about a year, you know. So, um, but I don't like to see her have to do that. So that's why I went ahead. It sounded like maybe the clip just came off, those little plastic clips. But for 10 bucks, I thought, well... You know, the handle did kind of start feeling funny, but so I was like, I'll just for ten bucks, free shipping. Uh, I could have got one for nine with free shipping, but it wouldn't be until like next next week. So I paid a dollar extra for one that I knew was going to be here by Friday. So that way she's only got about a week of this reaching across the door, the the truck to open her door. I know it's a pain in the ass, but. Uh, Karma sucks, guys. So remember, little things. Just try not to let it bother you. I know it's. I know it's. It's hard not to, but it's like you know, I had some, you know, issues here. What was it last week? You know, with ordering stuff and it not coming in, and yeah, that was kind of a pain in the ass. I did get upset over that because to me, those headlights, you know, like that little sound card. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, that, that was that was a pain in the ass because it wasn't important. But um, what really got to me was the uh, what what really pissed me off was was the headlights, you know, because that wasn't just something I needed to use once in a while. I mean, that truck is drove after dark, and it's a safety issue, and you know, safety concern, damn cranes, and. Uh, you know, I'm expecting all the parts on this day, and I get one of them, you know, so, uh, yeah, that really pissed me off, but, uh, and I shouldn't have let it bother me like it, like it did, but, 
you know, it was just on top of everything, on top of everything. So remember, karma has a way of doing that to you. You know, if, if, if you're getting upset over little things, watch this. And that's probably what happened because I got... Hi, guys. I don't know if you've seen them. They just walk right past me. There you go. Bye, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> so, anyway... Um, Bruno scared death of them things. I don't know why. But... Well, there's another one back here. Where'd he go? He's back behind me there. All right, so uh, I believe that's a mother, father, and baby, because there used to only be two of them. And then last year, about this time, there was a, a baby that had a baby walk around. And those are the same three that hang out in this area. But anyway, so yeah, karma, you know, started throwing a bunch of shit on me and testing me, and so finally I'm like, man, you know, I gotta change change something because karma karma will get you. Karma does suck. Now there's good karma and bad karma. So I have been rewarded with good karma probably as much as I have been with bad karma. So, but yeah, a little sound card, you know, I got upset over it because it only worked 22 seconds. Um, but uh, yeah, so I was a little pissed. And so karma thought, well, <laughs> you wouldn't get mad over something like that. Watch this with your headlights, you know, so. <laughs> So those parts um, should come in. We we had to. Um, uh, all right, one more thing here. This is this is not a rant. It's just kind of. So Walmart, we you know we was at Walmart. We was going to get one of those. Um, what do you call them? Those canopies, you know, because we set up down here. You know, where where we set up, it's it's there's no shade, and so we need a canopy. Cause you don't want your stuff sitting baking in the sun like some of the good stuff we can't even put out. Because you don't want it sitting in the sun. Stuff fades. Uh, you know, DVDs, you know, they'll get hot if you ain't careful with them. So she wanted to go look at a, at a canopy. I'm like, okay, okay we'll, we'll, we'll go check out a canopy too. When we get your mom's stuff. So we uh, looked at their canopy, $79.99. 80 bucks plus tax. For a 10 foot by 10 foot, just a white or blue. A 10 foot by 10 foot canopy. We kind of need two of them because once we get the vet out here, uh, I want to put one over the vet. It does have a car cover, but I'd still like to put canopy over it too. So I'm like, man, look, I'm not, I'm not giving almost a hundred dollars for a damn ten by ten canopy. I said, uh, she said, well, let's just go ahead and get it. We're here. I said, look, no, I'm not going to do that. Let me go home and, and when we get home, I'll, I'll look them up online and see what they're going for. I already did that. They're over 130 bucks. I'm sure some of them are, but I, I can find a pretty good deal, I'm sure. <sighs> All right. I said, remember, karma. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, we get home, and uh, I think it was, yeah, it was after the live stream. We, uh, I said, yeah, let, me, let me go ahead and check this out, because I said, we need to. And I said, I, I can't see, you know, paying $160 for two of them. And so, found exactly what we needed was originally $74.99 they got them on sale right now until they last you know once they're gone they're gone $34.99 free shipping huh 10 by 10 you know just what we're looking for white you know I said uh yeah, check this out $34.99 she said, oh my god, yeah, go and get one. I said, you know what? You wanted to pay 80 bucks, you know, without tax for one. I said, right, let's go ahead and get two because, you know, that way we can use one for the vet or if I got to work on the truck outside, I can, you know, put it over the truck and it's raining or whatever. I need shade. So it'll come in handy. I said, um, so we actually need two. And she said, yeah, yeah, go ahead and order two. So we ordered two. At thirty-four ninety-nine, so it came to what sixty-eight something, sixty-eight ninety-eight, what sixty-nine ninety, whatever. And uh, so, um, so that that was good karma that came back for me. Um, that was awesome. So we got two of them for still what uh, twelve twelve dollars cheaper than Walmart. 
for two of them so it pays to look around sometimes I did in five minutes she was right there was some that would cost more than 130 bucks but they were the decorative stuff more more like a gazebo style but um, then there was some like that that was the same price as Walmart and whatnot but I, I just couldn't see paying that kind of money for one I said look I'm not gonna do it you know cuz I know I can find them cheaper than that you know cuz um, like uh, what's it called not tractor supply we do have one down here but uh what's the other one? rural king uh, you know rural king they have them on sale a lot for you know 40 bucks 50 bucks I'm like if they can sell this and it's the same thing if I said if they can sell it you know for that kind of money why can't Walmart so it was a matter of principle you know and they're not getting my money like that because uh, they're not always cheap guys not, not always I mean it like like our tent over there or our, our teepee tent that we gave $49 for 50 bucks after tax uh, is now $57 you know why so people will buy them on sale when they're when they're $49.99 thinking they're getting a deal and I'll be like you know that's what we gave for that two years ago and it's still strong but so just kind of shop around and remember karma will bite your ass I've rambled long enough thanks for watching guys don't forget to check out monkey 1000 uh, she's awesome. Uh, she's going to do a review video today, so stay tuned for that. It's, it's, it's going to be an interesting one. I may give her a hand if she needs to. She may need a cameraman for what she's going to do, but it's going to be interesting. She, so she's going to do a review video, and um, she's going to try to get more videos up for you guys. Uh, BXX32, you're awesome, man. Uh, love them cars, buddy. Uh, keep up the good work, man man uh so uh miss lottie da and captain eggbeard appreciate it once again thank you guys we'll see you guys soon and uh shea bear admit the main legend gone for now bye bye guys and have a great week